Salutations and good morrow everyone, welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we're hopping in and we are talking another awesome thing that got added in the Hot and Hazy update that is currently in public test. Yes, this update is in public test servers right now. It is not released for everybody, but it will be released for everybody within the next two weeks while after they are done with all of their bug testing. But what are we going over today? You guys guessed it, milk molars. Not only am I going to be showing you guys a couple locations for some golden milk molars, I'll be also be showing you guys the menu for milk molars and all the different upgrades that can happen with them. But how you decide to go down your journey is up to you when it comes to milk molars. It'll all become a little bit more clear once we get into it a little bit further. But before we go any further, make sure you guys hit that like button. Leave a comment down below of what skill you think is the most helpful that comes from the milk molars. And also, please do not forget to subscribe. But let's hop in and let's talk milk molars. So first of all, location of this first golden milk molar. If I go right on the map, I'm in the trash heap over here. Okay, we're on the trash heap in this crutched up um, poor to let uh, orange poor tort lemonade I don't know but it's this crushed can right here by this donut and what you're gonna do is you're gonna jump right this inside of this can go inside drink this that can. soda because you can and then you're gonna break open the mint molar and when you do this what you'll see is that it actually cracks open and gives you this wonderful little mega milk morsel okay these mega milk morsels it says yolk girth milk molar calcium chewables are filled with dense vitamins and minerals for ant to help any teen grow okay so that is the first location of a golden milk molar i'm gonna go over and grab a couple of other milk molars and show you guys where the locations of those are and then we are going to go back and go over to burgle which is where you use these perks from and we're going to be spending them there. So let's go on to the next location. Okay, so this next milk molar location is actually kind of tricky. If you didn't, as you guys just saw it right there, if you didn't know it's there, it's kind of hidden. But you can go right underneath this can by crouching and you'll be able to break open a white milk molar. Now, this isn't going to give you the mega milk molar um, pieces. This is just going to give you the standard milk morsel. Okay, so once you have the standard one, you can now go over to the Burgle store and talk to Burgle and he will show you the upgrades that you can get. We're going to get one more regular mil milk molar in this video and we are going to get one more mega milk molar and then we are going to go over and talk to Burgle. So this is the location of this current milk molar it's pretty easy to find and it's in a good starter location for everybody to be able to go and get once you get a tier two uh hammer okay so this next milk molar is over in the haze this one's a little bit more tricky to find there is a lot of these throughout the map and i will make a video going through all the different locations of all the mint molars that i know of so far but for right now we're gonna stick with this one and then the last mega milk morsel in just a moment so I am right here, right on this edge, right over here. You just go through and smack this a couple times and you get yourself your final milk morsel piece. That's right here. So I'm just gonna break this guy down, grab that, and then we're gonna make our way over to the lab because you guessed it, that is where the last mega milk morsel is. It's right over by Burgle. So let's head over there right now. Okay. So here we are in the Oak Lab. Don't worry, I'm on Creative with Bugs, so I'm not really worried about that t that Taze T actually trying to fight me. But what you want to do is you want to run right over here, go down in this location, take a left, and then if you look right back here, you have a Mega Milk Morsel right here, Mega Milk Molar that gives you a Mega Milk Morsel. And you just want to break this guy apart here, if you can. There it goes. Crouch down, it'll help you break it. There you go, and break this guy apart, and grab your final Mega Milk Morsel. Now what we're going to do is we're going to head over to Burgle, because he's going to have our final upgrade store for us. So let's go talk to him now. Hello, Mr. Burgle. I need to help you up really quick, so we'll skip through your chit-chat. Okay, so... When you get your milk morsels, what's going to happen is it's going to say pump me up with some milk molars. So you give them that and it opens up this new menu for you. Now you have the U one that's right behind my beautiful mug here. And then you also have the group. You can see that I have two milk morsels here. And then when I come over here, I have two mega milk molars. Now let's start with the U. All of these are upgrades that are specific to your character only inside of your game. If you use these milk morsels, they will not help your friends. If you use the group ones, your group will all be upgraded and you get things like max arrow size, max compactable, and max resource size. We'll talk about that in a second. So 
Let's start with you, shall we? So you have five different perks that you can select from here. You have max health, max stamina, thirst burn rate, hunger burn rate, and max active mutations. Active mutations takes more than one, but the other ones are all one, so you can go ahead and get these. So the max health is pretty cool. It is as it says. It gives you plus 20 to max health, giving you the boost of some of the armors that are in the game without having to wear them. Same thing for stamina. Having max stamina up all the way, plus somebody who uses a heavy weapon, could be very helpful because if you have plus, I don't know, this is 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 stamina, you could swing your weapon that many more times before you run out of stamina. Or, vice versa, if you are a person that runs a lot, you can use this perk that you can get here to make it so you can run for an even longer distance. So, very helpful for exploration. Health, well, we all know that extra health helps. Thirst burn rate and hunger burn rate. This is pretty awesome. What these are going to do is it's going to reduce your burn rate down to probably about 20% after each upgrade. Because we go 80, 60, 40, 20, 0. Heck, maybe after you get all of them, you never get hungry again. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's going to degrade after certain upgrades or not. But you can go through and get all of these. In fact, I'm going to go through and I'm going to put some stuff into max stamina. So let me get the max stamina pressing the space bar to infuse stuff. And then we get the oh yeah on animation, which is pretty awesome. Oh, look at that. It's actually giving you plus 35 now. So you're going to go from plus 20 to plus 35. So maybe it's not going to give you 100, but it's still going to give you quite the sum more stamina in the end. So I'm going to do max health as well. So we have our two perks applied to Pete here. So now he has extra health and extra stamina. So I hope that this helps you guys. You can get up to five active mutations now, by the way, um, even though you only have two right now. So it's three, four and then five so you get up to five active mutations at one time now which is super duper cool going over to the group you have things like max arrow stack size to go from 20 to 23 this is pretty awesome for all of you archers out there or if you guys know that you're going to be going through using a lot of arrows this is a good one for you to get so max arrow size, max arrow stack size is going to make it so inside of one inventory slot in your inventory, you'll be able to hold 23 arrows instead of 20. This is awesome. I really like this one. I also really like the max consumable size because right now it's going to make it so you can carry more than just five because ever since the update, they brought down the number of consumables that you can hold, i.e. food items and smoothies from 10 to 5. So it's making it so you can't just hold 200 smoothies in your character anymore and run around. No, you can't hold nearly that many anymore. I think the most you can hold now is, what is it, 30 slots times 5, so 150. So there, so this will make it so you can carry even more. And if the math serves me correctly, which we'll, we'll do it here and we'll check it out. So yeah, it's adding 3 every time. So it's going, okay, 3 then probably going up to 14 and, and going on from there. I also enjoy this max resource stack size. Now for my world, these will probably be the two that I focus on because max arrow stack size is not that important to me because I'm not an archer and I don't really have any friends that focus using the archery in the game. So getting the max resource size to make it so I can hold more resources at a time is what I am more interested in. So that is the milk molars or a morsel infusion that allows you to make your teen even stronger. Just note that all of these mutations, one, can be increased and they can adjust them and add even more in the future. So this is just the beginning. As I said, this is the test uh, to see how this system works and also to see how many people like it. If it's really liked and as of the feedback that I have heard so far, people are very interested in this, especially this max resource stack size. I know I am, but people are very interested in these upgrades and I cannot wait for them to unlock even more. But guys, that is the milk morsels. That is everything that goes into them. Mr. Burgle here will be able to help you out in finding all of these. Oh, my Mac and Bees spoiled. Bummer. But Mr. Burgle will be able to help you out finding all of these for your character. So get out there, explore the backyard, find all of the different milk molars, and come back over to Burgle and upgrade your character however you see fit. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, please hit that like button. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below of what skill is going to help you the most. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.